Risky behavior. Yo, what's up, man? How y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. Now, we want to talk about gender identity. So let's join Dory Love, one of my favorite street preachers. Um, I think he has a good heart, and I, I, I like how he, um, I like how he talks to people. He's he's gives the truth, but he's not disrespectful. So this video, t he's talking with the um, LGBTQ about gender identity. Um, this is risky behavior, and um, I love the conversations that most people are afraid to have. I love to tune in, check them out give my opinion, give my response. Um, I want to say thank you to all those that subscribe, support, share, and like the content. And yes, I love those that leave comments. Even though some of y'all are um, kind of mean, but it doesn't hurt my feelings. I love people with difference of opinions. Um, so if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Feel free to like, share the video. Get in the comments. Let me know your opinion. Let's go ahead and um, jump into this video discussing gender identity. If gender can be determined by a word, is gender really that simple? Say it again. If gender can be determined by a word, is it really that concrete? Yes. So, uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, what's your name? Uh, what's your pronoun? Baby, uh, boy, boy, if there is to be there. Okay, so you know what the word they means. There's only one of her. Amen. So they, Amen. they, and we, you know what, you know what, that's demon talk. Um, that's demon talk. You, you know why she's saying that? Because she's from the demons. Um, um, even when, even when, yeah, multiple personalities. <laughs> you know what, I like that he said that because it is kind of like demon talk, right? You know, it's like, a, you know, like in the movie, like the demon possessed the person. And then it's like, who are you? We are the, you know, and it's like, uh, it is something that a demon would say, you know, I, I, she seems like a sweet young lady, but, or a sweet young we, right? Cause that's her, but see how silly that sounds. So, but it does sound like demon talk. And Jesus, Jesus walked into a town one day and he said, what's your name, demon? And he said, we, my name is Legion for we are many. So, um, the homosexual community have a lot of demons in them. That's why you, you're identifying your demons. We, they, because you're only one person. You can't commandeer the English language and, and, and take the words and, and make them mean what you want them to say. When you, when we, when we say we, we expect to see multiple people. When we, when we, when we hear they, we expect to see multiple people. Christianity wasn't born in English, right? Who's clear? that they means multiple people. No one ever clarified. Dictionary. No one the English yeah. dictionary. Yeah. I have a quick explanation on the they them pronouns. Say someone left their jacket in a movie theater. You went up, go to the clerk, say, someone lost their jacket. You wouldn't say someone lost her jacket if you didn't know it was like a feminine jacket. Or if it was um. Amen. So, so there and they are not, uh, there and they, can, uh, they are, it's plural. They, they? That's plural. They? Grade in well, obviously you did it because you yeah. think that you're a we. <laughs> so you, know, so you, know, you, you shouldn't be talking about pronouns. They, you said you, you think you think you said there, there and they are different. They, they, they are. There you go. But can you say they're over there? How many people? Are, how many? If I say they're over there, how many people am I talking about? How many people am I talking about? So I can say they are over there. I mean one person. Yeah, no, so T H E I R is there. T H E Y is there. That's bad grammar. That's bad grammar. It's not. It, you know what? You know what you're trying to do. Just like you. Just like you take silly words like homophobia. Okay. What does homophobia mean? You. It means being against gay people. That's not what it means. Oh. The word homo means man. The word phobia means unrational fear. So the thing is, you guys, you guys come and hear all these different words, and you say, and you say, oh, this is what I am, and this is what I am. It's because you're confused. And Bible, the Bible teaches that God is not the author of confusion. The Bible says that if you believe in Jesus Christ, He can erase this confusion out of your mind. If anyone who thinks that you're a man but you're really a woman, that's confusion. Anybody who thinks that they're multiple people, that's confusion. Anybody who thinks that they're two spirits or non-binary, you are you are mentally it's actually it's a mental deficiency. It's a mental you need you need some sort of pills. 
you need to go see a psychiatrist and you or and you need Jesus to um uh, to set your mind straight. The Bible says the Bible says he can renew your mind. So that's what you really need. You need a renewing of the mind and you need to transform your heart through the Holy Spirit. I'm just gonna ask you again, what does homo mean? Man. So I took it um it means safe, it's Latin. Yeah. It means man. Okay. Who, who taught you this? Who taught you that guy's name? Okay. Let me ask you a question. What's a homo sapien? Um <laughs> no, 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 no. I asked you a question. What's a homo sapien? People of the same species. No. Homo yes. sapien. Okay, what's homo erectus? Um, walking straight man. Walking straight what? Man. Okay, which, which word is man? Amen. Homo. <laughs> That's my point. You guys, I don't know. What's no, homo I, I, I'm so glad that I, I'm, I'm so glad that I wasn't in school nowadays. It seems nowadays what they do, but now she wants to go to the dictionary. Gotcha. <laughs> Now, amen. Amen. So, so, you know what they do? They teach you in school. What they do is they change the words around, just like homosexual, just like the they to make you feel comfortable. I'm not here to make you feel uncomfortable. Because some people say by fire, some people say by godly sorrow, and some people say, amen, put your phone away, because I'm right. Amen. Amen. Okay, I might work. But it's not their fault. It's, um how they're being taught but on the bright side this is why i like the um conversations when you have um you have an older generation and they're having conversations with um younger generations right and i this happens a lot even with my kids right they'll um learn things in school and when you talk to them about it they think what they're learning in school, they think the information they're getting is how it's always been. And they just know. Right. But then you tell them, like, well, no, um, these ideas that you're having, these things that they're teaching you is very new. And then you. You show them, well, hey, no, this is what has always been. They think, like, well, no, I know, I know. And this is what it is. And it could be with um, anything. And they think like they're the first to discover things. They think they just know it all. And they're kind of shocked when you give them the real information. And but it's it's a good thing. And I think it's just a um, it's just a learning experience um, for all, you know. Um, but she's you know, she's been um, programmed. So it's not really her fault. She thinks, you know, a lot of young people are that way you know they just think that they know they think they're the ones that discover the information they don't realize that hey you know it's been around that's not what that word is <laughs> you've uh uh you didn't create this word you took it now let me tell you what it has always meant you know um it's kind of like even with the whole gender topic and they think like oh no it's always been this way and you try to tell them like no the ideas you have are kind of new so I know you're changing it because I know what it was so you can't tell me you're not changing it because when I was younger it wasn't that way so I know this is new I know you've changed it and that's what you're saying it is not what it's always have been that's just what these new politics and policies are educating this how they're educating you but it's it's just simply not the truth it's okay i already know what i'm talking about i can just by the look of your face i know i know i got you so 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 this is what i'm saying this is what i'm saying at the end of the day at the end of the day if love is love true love you're listening right now you see this crowd that's come out here uh true love is god god is true love that's, that's love that's that's less. Okay, it's okay. I hope you guys brushed your teeth before you did that. I have a question. If God is a holy figure, then what is their gender? Oh. Answer that. The Bible says God is a spirit, and He must be worshipped in spirit and in truth. What's the gender of the spirit? The Bible says in heaven there is no there is no there is no male, there is no female. It's a spirit. The Bible, the Bible describes the spirit as a wind. The Bible describes spirit as wind. The Bible. 
the Bible describes the best how the Bible describes And that's a whole nother sign of like um human cockiness when people say, oh, with God. So then with us and it's like you're not God, you're human. And that's weird. You know, um, that's crazy. You know, when people try to put them on themselves on the same level of God, you. That's that's crazy. I I couldn't fathom even thinking that way. You know, to say, well, oh, well, oh, so then for us, it's the same. No, it's not because you're not God. <laughs> I've been in conversation with people and they go, well, God did it um, so we can do it. It's like, nope, <laughs> you're not God. It's kind of like being a parent and a child, right? Can your child do what you do? No, because they're not the parent. They're not in that position. It's two totally different positions. What is allowed for me may not be allowed for you because I am higher up. So you don't get the same um, benefits that I get. But that goes back to that original sin. When the serpent said you will become as God. But really what humans got was a God complex. But. They're not on the um, they're not on the level of God. Let me see what they say. The spirit, it's like the wind. You can't see it. You you can see the effects of it, but you don't know where it came from and you don't know where it goes. I can see you. The spirit is invisible. I can see you. So God is a spirit, but but he he chose he chose he chose to reveal himself as a man, and that man is Christ Jesus. He didn't he didn't choose to reveal himself as a woman. He he chose to reveal himself as a man, and that man was Christ Jesus, and he was put on the cross. And he died for his sins. Anyway, that's the um end of that video. Um, Dory Love, he tried his best. He tried his best. <laughs> but he could get nowhere with that crowd. But appreciate y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Risky out. Risky behavior.